hello guys so today we are going to do the second video in video on demand so the another important topic that you people requested was uh, the videos from physical chemistry that is the problem solving in physical chemistry part like phase equilibrium chemical kinetics etc so we will begin with chemical kinetics we'll be doing some problems from chemical kinetics today uh, there are a lot of different types of problems but we will uh, to start start with we'll be doing uh, a mixture of easy and confusing questions and uh, then we'll be doing Doing more more advanced questions in the coming videos and also uh, I have seen all your requests I'm going to do all the videos that you have demanded group theory uh, organometallics then uh, some other uh, university question papers I'm trying to get the question paper as soon as I receive them I'll be solving them also and also the other topics uh, like phase equilibrium and uh, all those we are going to do all those one by one this week uh, so if you have any more requests please uh, do comment there uh, I am watching that and uh, preparing according to your demands. So let's begin. So the first question here is overall rate dp by dt for the reaction. We are given a reaction. Here 2a gives b. This is in equilibrium and the constant is given as k. And b plus c the rate constant kt is given p. It is given by. So the overall rate is what we have to consider. So what you can write dp by dt according to this equation this reaction can be written as rate constant kt into b into c from that uh, and also here we have the equilibrium constant k the equilibrium constant we know how, how can we write the equilibrium constant that is by uh, the products by react, react concentration of products divided by concentration of reactants raised to the coefficient so here it will be b divided by a square so what can we do now we can replace this b uh, in our in our uh, equations we have one such equation where it is replaced by a square so we can give value of b in terms of k and a square as b is equal to k into a square now substituting it in this first equation if we are substituting it in the first equation what can we write it will be dp by dt is equal to k into kt into a square into c so the answer would be option a so what i have to do in these kinds of questions First of all, you have to uh, write a proper uh, equation of the or a proper change in the product using the rate constant and the reactants that we have done here. Then observe what else is, as else is given, which is here. Here the equilibrium is given, and from the equilibrium, try to uh, find if there are any possibility of changing concentration of any one of the reactants in terms of the equilibrium constant. Then substitute it in the primary equation, and there you have the answer. So that's the first question. Now here we have a second question. An example of reaction uh, relaxation method of measuring rates. It is option D temperature jump experiment. And let me tell you what relaxation methods are. So if a reaction proceeds through a very fast manner. That is if it is a fast reaction. It is very very difficult to measure the kinetics. Or to study the kinetics it would be extremely dis, uh, difficult. In those cases what we will use. We will use. Uh, certain relaxation methods and in a relaxation methods a system which is primarily at equilibrium it will be introducing some disturbance or some perturbation will be dis uh, introduced so that we can change the equilibrium and what we will do next we will be now observing that particular system coming back to equilibrium uh, and then study the kinetics in that form in temperature jump method a system at equilibrium we will be rapidly heating it and change the value of equilibrium constant and further we will be relaxing the, when this system is relaxing back to equilibrium at a normal uh, at a new temperature we will be observing that kinetics that is the uh, major idea behind temperature jump experiment that is this is used for fast reactions to study the kinetics now we'll go to the third question the third question is the rate law for a reaction between uh, the substance A and B is given by the rate is fine. The first rate equation is given K into A raised to N into B raised to M. Next what is given a condition is given. We are doubling the concentration of A and halving the concentration of B. And we have to find the ratio of new rate to the earlier rate. So first of all let's, first, let's uh, assume that the rate of the uh, original the earlier rate be R1 and that is already given as K into concentration of A raised to N concentration of B raised to M. Now we are changing the uh, now the rate will be changing because the concentration is changing. Let the new rate be R2. R2 is equal to K into 
2 a we are doubling the concentration of a 2 a whole raised to n and halving the concentration of b b by 2 whole raised to m now what will happen we can uh, from this we will be rearranging it so that we can write it in terms of r1 how can we write it in terms of r1 k into a raised to n and this 2 raised to n we are taking separately and also b raised to m is written and divided by 2 raised to m is written uh, separated again next what will happen k into a raised to m n and b raised to m is r1 we have already written that we have substituted r1 and 2 raised to n by 2 raised to m is 2 raised to n minus 1 now we have to find the ratio r2 by r1 r2 by r1 is equal to r2 is written as r1 into 2 raised to n minus m divided by r1 r1 and r1 gets cancelled and our answer would be 2 raised to n minus m which is option D. Such a very simple question. Just focus and uh, try to, in these kinds of questions, what is the strategy that you have to apply? Whenever you are writing the new rate, try to write it in terms of the uh, earlier rate, like we have done here. We will separate this 2 raised to n and 2 raised to m so that we can write it in terms of the R1. In, then it will be easy to cancel out while we are finding the ratio. That is the strategy you have to use in these kinds of questions. Now we will go to the fourth question. The fourth question, the rate constant, the activation energy and the Arrhenius parameter of a chemical reaction at 25 degrees Celsius are given. And what we need to find, we need to find the rate constant as T tends to infinity. Now T1 we can assume as 25 degrees Celsius which is uh, 298 Kelvin and let T2 be equal to T. Now we have an equation log k2 by k1 is equal to Ea by 2.303 r 1 by t1 minus 1 by t2. From word red we get this. We get it from the Arrhenius equation k equal to a e raised to minus Ea by rt. When we are writing such two such rate constant then we, we can compare this and write it like this. Okay. By using two rate constants we get this particular relation and before I further explain this problem I have already discussed in one of the videos the most important equations that you have to remember in chemical kinetics I have not discussed all the equations but a very important equations that you need to remember I will be linking the uh, uh, the link in the description box it will be there please watch it so that you can be familiar with the most important equations from chemical kinetics then it will be easier for you to uh, do all the problems if you are once familiar with the equations if you have not yet watched it please do watch it uh, then so we now we are substituting all the terms that we already know log k2 by 3 into 10 raised to minus 4 is equal to ea is given in kilojoules so we are con converting it into joules you can see here it is given in kilojoules so into in order to convert it into joules we will multiply it by 10 raised to 3 then since it is in joule the r will be 8.314 then 1 by t1 minus 1 by t when t tends to infinity what happens to 1 by t 1 by t will become 0 so this whole term gets cancelled out now we can directly substitute and how to change log into how can we change log it is anti log. Anti log can be taken as 10 raised to. Okay. If you don't know, I will be telling it is 10 raised to. We will be writing it in terms of 10 raised to. So log k2 by k1, we have substituted this. Now we are changing uh, log. Now again, we are removing the log and we will be getting k2 by 3 into 10 raised to minus 4 is equal to this particular value. I have already solved that. Then k2 will be equal to 1.98 into 10 raised to 18 into 3 into 10 raised to minus 4 which is k2 is equal to 6 into 10 raised to minus 14 per sec i mean 6 into 10 raised to 14 per second which is option b so primary equation that you have to remember is uh, log k2 by k1 is equal to ea by 2.303 r 1 by t1 minus 1 by t2 and the second thing you have to remember is if t tends to infinity 1 by t will become 0 and again, this is very important equation. Multiple questions can come from this very same part from Irene's equation. So, we will be jumping to the next question now. The fifth question is again related to the activation energy. The activation energy for a reaction is given in kilocalorie. Please pay attention to the uh, units. Here it is given in calorie. That is kilocalorie per mole. 
the increase in rate constant when its temperature is increased from 298 to 398 308 kelvin is so whenever you have given two different temperatures and arrhenius uh, that is the activation energy etc it is obvious that we should use this log k2 by k1 equation so we have log k2 by k1 equal to e, ea by 2.303 r t2 minus t1 divided by t1 t2 how did we get this 1 by t1 minus 1 by t2 we are cross multiplying it to get t2 minus t1 divided by t1 t2 that is the only change the same equation in the previous question we have arranged it a little bit now substituted all the values and we get k2 by k1 as 1.63 now how to find the increase the increase would be k2 minus k1 divided by k1 and here from here we can write k2 in terms of k1 as 1.63 k1 now k2 minus k1 divided by k1 into 100 would be the percentage increase okay substituting uh, instead of k2 we can write as 1.63 k1 minus k1 divided by k1 so 1.63 minus uh, 1.63 k1 minus k1 equal to 0.63 k1 that and the denominator the k1 and k1 get cancelled and we get 0 0.63 into 100 which is 63 percentage and option a would be our answer such a simple question just you have to keep the equation in mind now we have the sixth question a reaction proceeds in three steps this is a conceptual question the first stage is fast second order reaction second stage is slow and first order third stage is fast again and it is the third order so overall order of the reaction is it would be first order why because when there are a sequence of step followed in a reaction the step which is slowest would be determining the rate of the reaction overall reaction would be determined by the slowest step so here the slowest step is a first order reaction and therefore that itself would be the overall rate of the uh, overall order of the reaction very simple now the next question half life of a first order reaction varies with temperature according to uh, the answer is l and t half is that inversely proportional to temperature if you want the explanation i can give you a hint better you just memorize this thing because it can come into come for your uh, exam any time so just memorize that the half life of a first order reaction varies with temperature inversely l and t half is inversely proportional to 1 by t how we will be finding this we will be finding this using the same equation itself l and k1 by k2 is equal to uh, l and k1 by k2 uh, that is the same the equation the same equation itself will be using we need to work it out a little uh, just a long workout i'm not doing that if you want please ask in the comment section i can explain to you in the next video uh, so this is the equation and just keep that in mind now we'll go to the final question that we are going to do today so here given for a first order reaction a giving p the temperature dependent rate constant k was found to follow the equation log k equal to minus 2000 by t plus 6.0 we need to find the pre-exponential factor and the activation energy so here we have options we don't want to look at that now what do you have to do first of all we have the arrhenius equation k equal to a e raised to minus e a by rt to remove this e we will change it into ln form ln k is equal to ln a minus e a by rt next what will happen we will be changing it according to this we have to change it according to the equation that is given so that we can compare and find the different quantities that are asked in the question how to change ln into log it will be by dividing by 2.303 so log k, log k will be equal to log a minus a by 2.303 rt now comparing this equation with this what can we uh, what can we write log a is equal to 6 and therefore a will be equal to 10 raised to 6 or we can also write it as 1 into 10 raised to 6 per second and the next one what would happen a by 2.303 r is we can see here only 2000 by t is given so this 2000 contains both ea 2.303 also ea by 2.303 is uh, it to ea by 2.303 r is 2000 now we can write ea as 2, 2000 into r into 2.303 uh, 2000 into 8.314 will be 16.6 that into 2.303 will be 38.3 here you can see all your confusing answers are given here the answer would be option d so what we have to do first of all we have to write 
the write the arrhenius equation in the into the format that is given in the question then compare the terms here directly don't equate ea in ea to 2000 why because it is only 2000 by t actually it is ea by 2.303 r so 2000 contains all these three terms except temperature all the three terms are contained in that single number so we have to separate them in order to find activation energy alone so that is the strategy followed in this question we'll be doing more questions uh, in the coming videos and as i said please watch that chemical kinetics video we have already done it's a very short video but i think that would be helpful for you to brush up the equations fastly so thank you so much for watching more video on demands are coming soon. Thank you so much. Prepare well. All the best to all of you.